Welcome back to the second part of the video on people pleasing. Uh, today we want to look at the causes. Why do some of us behave like that? Why do some of us try to please everyone to the detriment of themselves? And how to recognize that behavior within ourselves and to unlearn that pattern. So you're welcome back to the channel. This is Creating with Mary and I'm glad you're able to join me again. In the first part of the video, we talked about the story of the man who was trying to please all the people that who were suggesting he acted a different way from what he wanted to do. So he realized at the end of the day that he could not continue to listen to people and adjust his life according to their whims and caprices. One of the signs that you, you recognize within yourself if you are a people pleaser is that you, you tend to say no to every request that comes at you, whether at work, at home, in the church, in your religious organization, your social organization, you accept everything. You're unable to say no because you, if you turn down in any request, you fear that people will think of you as a mean or selfish person. You fear the people's judgment of you. You tend to want to seek people's approval at all costs. That's a people pleasing behavior. It's a pattern of behavior that is learned in childhood. It's a form of coping mechanism in order to earn the approval of people within your life so that you can maintain the relationships with them as a child. But one of the things that we should come to when we come into adulthood is that we, can, we should understand now what we have rights over, what we have responsibility over, particularly our own self. At the childhood stage, we have no sense of power. But as an adult, a lot of us have you know, come up to adulthood and we can now assert who we are if we learn some of this information. We can now take charge of our own lives. That we may not even be in close proximity to those relationships that inform this behavior as a child. But it became an automatic behavior in us to always yield to people's needs and even neglect our own needs and meet other people's needs. And this is very emotionally draining. It depletes you of emotional capacity. It depletes you of mental energy because you're going out of your way to do so much for people who may not even do half of what you're doing for them, for you when you need that. Another sign that you know that you're a people pleaser is that you avoid conflicts. You don't want to face difficult conversation. You run away from that. You rather apologize to the other party for even their own fault. That's a people pleasing behavior. And you're very agreeable. You agree to things you don't want to do just to please the other party. Those are signs of people pleasing. Now, if you found that that is a characteristic within yourself, don't beat yourself up with a stick. Remember, on this journey, self is to be loved, self is to be held compassionately, and to be patient with. Just like you will be patient with your friend, just like be patient with your spouse and your children, be patient with yourself also. Be compassionate towards yourself. This behavior is a learned behavior in childhood that came into adulthood. Now you are learning how to change that. Because the best version of yourself cannot emerge when you're a people pleaser. Some of the things that brings about this behavior is that you don't have a good sense of self. There's poor self-esteem. Your self-esteem is determined by how people say you are and you listen to that and you take that information in so it's coming out in for you it's never gonna work that way your best version cannot work that way it must come in out your sense of worth your sense of self must come from within and outwards who are you what are you worth if you know what the self worth video is right here you can check it out your worth is not dependent on anything. Your worth as a human being is not dependent on anything. The fact that you're on this earth, the fact that you're here, the fact that you're watching me, you're worthy of being here. You're having this human experience. That's all that is called self-worth. You're worthy. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of respect. That's self-worth. And so you must carry yourself accordingly 
that's what character helps you to be you carry yourself according to the self worth that you know of yourself so it's not it's not based on what people think it's not based on the bank account it's not based on your job or anything else it's based on the fact that you're just here and a lot of us are insecure feel insecure about certain aspect of your body of your family and then you just want to yield to people insecurity can cause you to be a people pleaser and if you were like me as, as a perfectionist always seeking to, to have control over everything you know even over what people think of you that might make you to be a people pleaser and the effect of people pleasing is that you cannot be yourself you want to say no but you say yes you want to say yes but you say no when you are true to yourself whatever you need to say you also refer to the authenticity video if you've not watched it you cannot assert yourself if a people pleaser you cannot show your true self and people will not know your true you because they will be used to the you that you are presenting as i'm available for anything you need your own needs you are not expressing it so they don't they don't care about your needs they only bring table their own needs to you and sometimes walk all over you. This continuous uh, behavior can lead you to stress. You don't want to live a stressed life. Stress can only lead to mental breakdowns. Can only lead you to mental breakdowns and burnouts. You want to ensure that you learn what's required here so that you can start on learning that pattern that was developed in childhood.